Hello my lovely lock minions and those of you that are new to my channel. My name is Mfan. I'm a teacher, dancer, and hair guru for locks. On this video, I want to share some products that I use for my hair since I am transitioning from not using oil anymore. Now I want to do a disclaimer. Just because I say I'm not using oil doesn't mean some of the products may not have oil, but I want to refrain from using oil on my scalp. I did a video yesterday and it was titled, Why I Don't Use Oil on My Scalp. I would suggest that you click it, watch it. So you can understand why I am transitioning and why I am using a different method to take care of the health of my locks and my scalp. So if you're interested, keep watching and don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell, duh. And visit my channel, Locks For You Too. Love. So let's get into the video. Why I don't use oil on my locks? A simple answer my scalp doesn't like it anymore. So let's use what God has given me my own oils. So as I'm transitioning from not using oil on my scalp i want to encourage my body and my scalp to produce its own serum and that's the goal i want to give myself at least 30 days to detox to get back into the routine of uh, training my hair to take in a new routine a new product and see how things go and then I will keep you up to date. But before I even go any further into that, again, this is my video. Um, I want to share the products that I will be using in this process. So, first thing I want to do is clean my hair and my scalp really well. And this product here, Dr. Bruner's Peppermint. Ugh. This is the soap that I love. I feel like it cleans my body, it cleans my hair, it cleans things. If you want a clarifying shampoo, I need you to get this. This is the thing you need. Um, yes, so I feel like before I start this journey, I want to clean my hair with this product thoroughly, and this will get the job done. So if you're interested, look it up or click the description box and I will have some information on where you can get this. You can get this at Walmart. This is where I got this. Walmart or um, a Whole Foods natural store, um, anything of that sort. But yes, get this. Next, I will be using rose water. Um, I used to use rose water back in the day day. Um, my hair loved it. When I first started my locks, rose water was my go-to spray. I don't know why I really stopped. But as I start thinking about and revisiting the past, um, my relationship with oil and water-based products, I don't think I had a good regimen on how to use it properly. And I think I abused the oil so much that now my skin and my scalp rejects it. And um, so I would also mix oil with the rose water. And this would prevent a lot of um, moisture to penetrate my hair. And I didn't understand that then, but I understand it now. And so I want to incorporate this in my solution, my water-based solution that I will be using to moisturize my hair. 
and so i will let you know how this goes but this rose water makes my hair feel so soft and i love that about this product so yes i'm gonna be adding this to my concoction next i'm going to use aloe vera juice um i did some research and a lot of people that i've seen use this brand so i want to experiment with this brand and see if this is a good fit for my hair um hopefully george knows what he's doing because i need this and so i want to add this with my rose water and spray it on my hair to see if this is another way to keep my hair moisturized. And if my hair happens to touch my scalp, that it will not irritate it or inflame it or cause any issues. Um, in the past, I used aloe vera gel and juice before and my hair loved it and my scalp loved it. But again, I think the problem was my overuse in oil and not really having a real good understanding of what oils to use, how much oil to use. And I think I just clogged my pores and now my body's like, no, you're not putting that thing on my hair. So, or my scalp. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna use. Water. I still haven't decided whether or not I wanted to add water to the mix of the solution that I was gonna use with the aloe vera juice and the rose water. But um, if it is, it will be water, aloe vera juice and rose water only. And that is it, that's all I'm spraying on my hair. And I'm using this spray bottle that I got from Sally's. My sister put me on this. I am late in the game, but this is a lifesaver and I love this thing. So, these are the tools and the things that I'm going to be using for my hair. And again, I'm going to um, mark it on a calendar. I'm going to let this process continue for 30 days. And then after the, after the 30 days are up, I want to come back and give you guys an update on how this new routine new regimen is treating my hair treating my scalp and is it something i'm going to stick with or change or have to change products because also in the video uh why i don't use oil on my scalp that video check it out it should be in the description box or up above somewhere in that video i felt like i just overused um the oil and I didn't have enough uh, understanding of how that works for my hair and now that I know what I need to do and things that I can do to experiment with um, I'm ready to try it I'm ready to solve the problem and I'm ready to move on so if you are interested in videos like this go check out more videos on my channel locks for you to love and um